welcome back to Curbstorm City and another episode of ECW Lives on TEW 2016. And today it is time for the Go Home Show before ECW November to remember, which is going to be our next pay per view. And if you're excited for that, make sure you drop a like down below and make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss another episode. And before we get started, I want to just quickly ask, what do you want to see me do for TEW 2020? What company do you want me to do? What era? I just want to gauge what people want to see. So let me know in the comments below and I'll read through them all. But without any further ado, let's get into the show. And we start with a dark match where it's going to be CM Punk taking on Colt Cabana. And of course, two faces of the Chicago wrestling scene meeting again. And CM Punk has picked up the victory this time against Colt Cabana in 9 minutes 31 by pinfall with a go to sleep. CM Punk and an in-ring performance of 75 and Colt Cabana with a 53 and 72 B minus overall. So a decent dark match to start the show and just to give Punk a win heading into the pay-per-view where he's going to be taking on Raven in fight series rules for the ECW Television Championship. And yeah, a win for Punk tonight sets him on his way. And in the second and last dark match of the night, we're going to see Goldberg take on Taka Michinoku. And in 2 minutes 32, Goldberg gets the win with a jack hammer. And Goldberg with an 88. It's a good performance from him. Taka Michinoku with a 61. And Goldberg is improving in performance skills. And yeah, 56 C minus. Of course, we're not going to get anything too great considering it's a squash match. But we move on into the main show. And we start with a video hyping the card for tonight. And we're going to see which tag team has accepted the Dangerous Alliance's tag team challenge with the ECW tag team titles on the line. And we will see the number one contender for the undisputed junior heavyweight championship, Brian Danielson, taking on the ECW television champion, Raven, with both men looking to gain an edge in their respective title matches this Sunday in November to remember. As I said before, Raven's going to be defending against Punk. And of course, Brian Danielson is going to be taking on AJ Styles for Styles' is undisputed junior heavyweight title so one of the challenges is taking on one of the champions tonight and also we've got the fact that brian danielson and punk have been aligned recently and in tonight's main event we will see minuru tanaka take on former zero one heavyweight champion yun akiyama so that should be a good match and an opportunity for both men to get a win both of them looking to establish themselves once again in the main event picture but first Shinsuke Nakamura looks to continue his undefeated streak against Spike Dudley. And yeah, 69C plus for that video package, not too bad. And yeah, we'll go into that first match where we're going to see Nakamura defeat Spike in 1 minute 28 by pinfall. I still need to set a finisher for Nakamura. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Maybe something that he does use in real life or maybe something completely fresh. But yeah, he's picked up the win again tonight in a very fast victory in 1 minute 28. And he is on a roll recently and still undefeated in basically 1 minute matches. And Nakamura has an in-ring performance of 67 spike with a 43 hopefully nakamura can get up into the 70 range soon that's what i'm hoping for anyway as his popularity rises in america and 55 c minus overall for that match so again not the best rating but it was a squash match so we can't expect too much and then we cut to a pre-taped face-to-face interview hosted by jerry lawler who is sat with AJ Styles. And Lawler says, This weekend at November to remember, you face arguably your most difficult challenge as Undisputed Junior Heavyweight Champion, Brian Danielson. So how have you been preparing for this match? And Styles says, great question. But let's go back to April 2001. It was AJ Styles versus Brian Danielson for the ECW Junior Heavyweight title. And the winner was AJ Styles. And I know since then... Brian is a different beast. He's evolved. He's tougher than almost anybody in this company. But at the same time, I've evolved. Brian's ground game is something that nobody can compete with. If he catches you, he will snap you. But the thing is, he can't catch me. And Lawler says, well, it's certainly going to be a clash of styles and styles interrupts. And he says, you're right, Jerry. It will be a clash of styles that ends with the styles clash. Styles gets up, walks out of the interview, point made. Styles respects the ability of Brian Danielson, AJ bringing more of an aerial threat, and um, Brian Danielson very much a wrestler's wrestler, will take you down, try and make you tap. But AJ says he's too fast for Brian, 
And at the weekend, he will retain his undisputed junior heavyweight title. So it's going to be a good match. Um, one I'm looking forward to seeing the result of and the rating of as well. It should be a good match. And potentially one of Brian Danielson's best matches so far. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So hopefully you are too. But yeah, 62C. So not the greatest segment once again. Hopefully ratings can start to pick up as we get later on into the show. But yeah, point made. Styles is ready. And speaking of Brian Danielson, it's time to take on the ECW television champion in Raven. And Brian Danielson picking up a huge victory heading into the weekend over Raven in 16 minutes 25 by submission with a cross face chicken wing after a distraction from CM Punk. So that submission there shows exactly what AJ was talking about. And he's managed to tap out main eventer, an established name in the company, Raven. And yeah, huge win for Brian Danielson heading forward. And apparently they didn't have any chemistry though, which is a shame, which resulted in Raven only getting 63 and Brian getting a 57. So at the weekend, hopefully they have better matches in each of their respective championship fights. But... Raven is improving in performance skills and a huge win for Brian Danielson and Punk helping out his friend in Brian Danielson and costing Raven. And it's normally the other way around. Raven and Kendrick costing CM Punk match after match after match. But yeah, the tables have turned tonight and Brian Danielson with a huge victory. But after the match, Raven grabs his title and makes his way up the ramp with Kendrick and Punk and Brian are in the ring. And Brian turns to Punk and he seems unhappy with him. And Brian shoves Punk as he takes a step back. But Punk shrugs his shoulders, smirks and lifts Brian up for a GTS. Brian manages to slide out and escape the ring. But both men trade words as Brian walks up the ramp. So maybe Brian feels like he could have got the win without Punk's help. But we'll never know. But Punk and Brian, a little bit of tension there between the two. And 70 C plus as, yeah, again, not the best rating, hopefully the later matches are going to pick this up because we could end up losing fans here. So let's be careful. And that's a little bit better. B minus where we see the Dangerous Alliance make their way to the ring. And Heyman has a microphone in hand and he says, you are looking at the most dominant, the most powerful and the most dangerous alliance the wrestling world has ever seen. And nobody can stop Goldberg and nobody can stop the Dangerous Machine, which is, of course, Joe and Ken Shamrock. And he says, last week, we issued a challenge to any team in the world. So let's see who is going to step up. And the lights go down as two huge men step onto the stage and the lights come on. And it's Vader and Bam Bam Bigelow, surprisingly. And Jerry Lawler says, look at the size of these two monsters, two huge men and two legends of the business. And Joey Styles says Heyman may have made a mistake by issuing this challenge. These two made a name for themselves as a team in Japan, and now they're here. So in the early 90s, I think it was, Vader and Bam Bam Bigelow were a team in all Japan. So they've got a little bit of experience that they can bring here. And I think they're a good team to take on the Dangerous Alliance to hopefully show the dominance of Joe and Shamrock. And yeah, an obstacle in the way, though, for the Dangerous Alliance, as we get a 76B minus, as I say. And yeah, the match is set. The ECW tag team titles will be on the line. Joe and Ken Shamrock taking on Vader and Bam Bam Bigelow. And of course, in the match, the Dangerous Machine have defeated Man Mountain, which is what I've called them, in 9 minutes 46 when Samoa Joe defeated Bam Bam Bigelow by submission with a dragon sleeper and the Dangerous Machine makes defense number three of their ECW World Tag Team titles and Bam Bam was the weak link and struggled to keep up with everyone else but a great match though carried by the Dangerous Alliance 91 for Shamrock 96 for Joe which is ridiculous of course helped by the chemistry in yeah solid match and yeah i'm not sure whether vader and bam bam will be sticking around but i just thought it would be good to put the dangerous machine over them and show that they are a top team and can overcome basically two huge men so yeah we go on though and apparently bam bam bigelow was drunk and he was wasted on drugs as well which is not good and that might have sealed their fate a little bit but yeah we move on and of course after brian danielson was in a match earlier we now see aj styles take on heavy metal and in a superb match which it was 84 b plus aj styles defeated heavy metal in nine minutes 34 
by pinfall with a Styles clash and maybe a little look into the future. He said this is how he's going to finish off Brian Danielson and tonight he's defeated one of the best junior heavyweights in the division heavy metal and solid match 82 for AJ again great performance from him I'm pretty sure the Brian AJ match will be the main event now looking at the performances from AJ but we will see there's still a chance that it could be the TV title match or maybe something else I'm not sure we'll see though as I say and heavy metal had an in performance of 71 and heavy metal is improving in rumble skills but yeah 84 B plus solid stuff from AJ there and heavy metal as well deserves a little bit of credit <laughs> But yeah, let's move on to the main event. And not quite as good as that last match, surprisingly. But we do see Minoru Tanaka take on Ian Akiyama. And as I said earlier, both men looking to get a win heading forward and establish themselves in the main event scene. And of course, Minoru Tanaka has defeated Ian Akiyama in 20 minutes 48 by pinfall with a roundhouse kick and 86 from Tanaka. So again, another main event performance. We've had some good in-ring performances tonight and Yunakiyama with a 72 so not too bad from him as well and 79b for that main event as we head to after the match where Minoru Tanaka celebrates and brings in a 83b plus as well so solid from him as we close the show a little bit of doubt over the future of Minoru Tanaka where is he heading after recently losing to Goldberg but he has picked up a win tonight to show that he is Still a contender in ECW. And we get a 78B overall, so solid. I think we rescued it a little bit there towards the end. Some of the ratings were a little bit lower than I would like, especially in these first four segments there. But it did start to pick up midway through. And yeah, good stuff. And Sting has signed with TNA on a loan, I'm assuming. Still the GPWC heavyweight champion. Has that happened yet? It has. And he defeated Brian Lee <laughs> and yeah, made another defense of his GPWC world title. Still representing the GPWC brand. Maybe someone we're going to see come back to ECW a little bit more towards the end of this series. Of course, we've got Global Glory coming up. And yeah, he's bound to be around somewhere. And Takamichi Noku doesn't connect with the fans according to Bill. And the same <laughs> with Vader and... Shinsuke Nakamura is a star in the making. The kid could make us some serious money, according to Raven, and I would agree with him there. Uh, we've got a 9.21 TV rating. Ken Shamrock is annoyed, and so is Joe with Bam Bam Bigelow. And Garuda's developmental contract is ending. Maybe someone we let go, perhaps, if we look at his skills. He's not really outstanding, especially in the ring. Got good basics, but that's about it. Uh, we might keep him around, I'll monitor the situation so let's check the incident so it is involving bam bam bigelow he was drunk last night so we're going to fine him and he's improved his behavior as a result and he's happy with the action yeah he was on drugs as well so we're going to fine him for that and he's improved his behavior so maybe we can keep him around obviously he's not going to go on a title run or anything but he's a good sort of upper mid card stepping stone i guess to put someone over and show that they can beat a big man um we'll see though perhaps he can go up against nakamura but yeah obviously we're not going to go on a big push for vader and bam bam but they've just been signed mainly for that tag team challenge we're also signing jack evans to a developmental deal he's going to go down to czw this was recommended in the comments and yeah i think it's a good idea we also signed paul london from the same comment so yeah, make sure if you've got any suggestions, make sure you get them down below because I do read and often go through with them. So let me know what you think we should be doing in the series and I'll perhaps do it. And before we go, let's quickly check the viewing figures for the revolt. And we got 4.1 million viewers. So we have continued to break that 4 million after recently just being underneath it. But yeah, we are consistently, it seems, going to get into the 4 million views now which is good and solid card with a 78b so i'm pleased with that so yeah the next episode will be that november to remember pay-per-view so if you're excited for that make sure you drop a like down below and subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss another episode and why not check out one of the videos that you can see on the screen right now but until next time peace